Hi, welcome to Old Guys Call. Um, made it really easy for you now if you wish to follow us. Uh, you can go to our website, oldguyscall.com, and all our social media links are there. We're on Twitter, Old Guys Call. We're on Instagram, Old Guys Call. We're on the YouTube channel, Old Guys Call. Uh, Pinterest, Old Guys Call. And we've got Old Guys Call on Facebook as well. So see you there. Today, we're going to be talking about ghosts. Hmm, do I believe in them? Yes, I do. I've seen two sightings, and I will try and video document the first sighting. It was around about 1986, and uh, I was in the Sea Cadets, um, and used to go of all places to the Sea Cadets, which is our headquarters were based at Wimbledon in London, South West 19, uh, at a place called Walpole Road. Um, I believe the building's gone now or probably been turned to trendy fat flats or something but um, at the time um, it was a really good social sort of get together we had marine cadets there we had sea cadets there and we had a great time um, now the headquarters was in a was an old Victorian house three levels um, real oldie worldie and it had like a, a hall attached to it um, and in the hall we would you know fall in as you would do as i say it's very sort of military orientated um and uh, when we had sort of exercises or we went out to the thames doing sailing whatever quite often we would all stay over at the headquarters in the mess what they called the mess deck which is the hall um and there was lots of rumors about lots of noises and people hearing screaming and this that and the other Anyway, um, one day we'd finished and we came out of the uh, mess area into the side road in, in Walpole Road, um, which is a big tall wall sort of, and then the other side of it is the building with um, you know, the, the sea cadet unit in there. And um, we're just waiting for a few of us to get together. I think we're going to go down to McDonald's and so the fast food restaurants are available, obviously. Um, and we were all just sort of huddled round in a group, little circle of us, just chatting away. I can't actually remember who was there. I know there was a couple of girls there. I'm gonna probably tag them into this if it's the ones I think it is. Perhaps they can elaborate on it more and may even re sort of uh, kindle some memories they'd rather forget. But we were just chatting away, perfectly normal. And then one of the girls went white as a sheet and started screaming. Um, and then the other girl, joined in and we all sort of looked in the direction that, that, that we saw uh, that you know, they were looking at and they were looking at above a sort of nine foot wall up to a top window in the sea cadets house um, and I saw clear as day um, a faded woman stood at the window and I have tried to draw it and I'll show you it and I'll go through all the sort of walk through of it at all. But literally she was like this at the window. And you could like you could hear the pain, the scream, the anger, although I didn't actually hear anything, it was just so vivid that you felt there was something you know not quite right here. Um, okay, so this is the main uh, Sea Cadets headquarters in Wimbledon in Walpole Road and if you walk down Walpole Road this way you'd find McDonald's, you would find Ely's and if you go up this end of uh, Walpole Road you'd eventually end up in Rains Park. So this is the headquarters, you'd walk through here, there was an officer's mess here which is a bar and uh, meeting area and to the left was offices and you walk through the staircase about here inside the building which went up one level uh, as a half level and then the second level would end up in the mess decks um, so the mess deck was down here um, which is like the whole area where you'd all fall in and do your exercise or whatever uh, presentations and I say quite a few people stay there um, and then what actually happened this particular afternoon I think it was about four or five o'clock in the afternoon we all stood outside here we finished doing what we needed to do it was a group of us so the girls were there as well and um, chatting away 
where I will be smoking, can't remember, but, um, and I'm saying next minute one of them turned around and was looking up in the direction of this window here, and um, lo and behold, we all saw basically a woman at the window. Um, we then rushed through here, up a set of stairs to the first landing where the, the uh, stores were there. Spoke to Chief Dan, he said nobody's gone past him and it was all locked. We got up to the, so this window's part of the same room, so we got up to the door and room and the door was locked, opened it up and it was empty, it was just felt weird. So, um, so anybody else got any history of this particular house or the sea cadets? And of course, um, we would welcome to hear about it. Um, ghosts, what do they look like? Are they see-through? Are they got a white sheet on? No, it was it was like seeing sort of a, a semi-transparent figure of a person. Far too strong for it to be a reflection on the window from somewhere or anything, so let's discount that myth. There was something, somebody at that window at that time, you know? So we all kind of, we had a bit bravado blokes. We run through sort of mess deck and into the back of the house, into the back of the city cadets, and, and then up a set of stairs, so we run up the stairs. So this, this window, sort of, and, and the room for the windows is back here. So we come up to the first landing, and on that first landing, there is a, a stores, which is basically like a, a wooden door, um, that, you know, with a hatch there, and Chief Petty Officer Dally or something, that was it, was there. And that's where they issue all the sort of sea cadet uniform and lanyards and bits and pieces. And um, we said, Chief, has anybody come past you or down? He said, no, he said, it's all locked up. Straight. So we then flew up to the next landing of stairs. Um, and then we're on the landing and right in front of us is the door where obviously the window was where we saw this person. Open the door and it's locked. It's seriously, seriously locked. We got the chief to unlock the door. We opened it up, and obviously, when we went in there, there was nothing. There was a feeling you could feel something. You just knew something wasn't right, but without a shadow of doubt. And, and I, you know, I'll be truthful with you. To that point, if you said you believe in ghosts, I would have gone, mm, no, not really. Straight after that event, yeah, I believe in ghosts. There was no other explanation for what had occurred there. The history of that house, before it was the Sea Cadets, apparently was two uh, elderly ladies lived there. One of them was wheelchair bound through illness, the other one was quite frail, but you know, they got around. Um, and she used to obviously take her friend down in the wheelchair, down the, the stairs, you know, step by step, to, to go out and enjoy the garden and whatever. Um, and apparently um, they'd had a, an argument one day um, and as she was taking her friend down the stairs, her friend freaked out, um, had a go at her, grabbed her arm as well, and there was just a kerfluffle. And apparently they both fell down the stairs and subsequently died. I had, that's just hearsay, I don't know the truth in that story. But that also coincides with all the noises that people would hear when they stayed in these things, in, in, the, in the mess hall. They said they heard screaming, they heard a lot of bumping going down the stairs. You know, some people weren't even aware of that story, it just, you know, this is what it was. So, do I believe in ghosts? Yes. This is my first sighting of ghosts. I've had one other sighting, and obviously I'll document that in another video. But, please, uh, if you've had the similar experiences, or you know of the secret at unit in Warple Road, or you've had any experiences, please comment, please share, please like, oldguyscool.com. Thank you.